Mr. Breaksome. Little brothers break toys, too. Ah, but no more. Behold, the modern miracle. Gloopsticity. Little brother proof, little sister proof. Gloopstick. Guaranteed. Not for just a month after Christmas. Not for just a year after Christmas. But forever after Christmas. Really? Hey, that sounds great. Yes, really. Name me a toy, any toy. Something you would really like, Annie. Uh, um, gee, I, uh, I don't know. It all seems so un-Christmassy. Oh, come on, Ann. Give him a chance. Well, well then I guess I always did want a beautiful China doll. From France, maybe. One beautiful China doll from France. Coming up. Voila! Behold, the perfect gift, unbreakable forever. Oh, but that's dreadful. What good is a doll if you, if you can't touch it, or cuddle it, or love it? Oh, Anne, don't be picky. That's the best doll I've ever seen. And who wants to cuddle a crazy doll anyway? Precisely, my lad. We see eye to eye. Why don't you make a selection? Really? Anything I want? Be my guest. Let's see. I want a Howard Pyle book of pirates, electric earth mover, a 40-speed bike, uh, and a regulation soccer ball, and my very own Christmas tree, of course. There you are, my boy. Everything you asked for. But, 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 but what good are toys and stuff if, if you can't touch them or use them? And anyway, I don't understand why you slap lipstick all over the toys. The answer is simple and quite practical. Since I hold all worldwide patents on Gloopstick, and since all of Sandy's toys are now encased in Gloopstick, from now on, children will have to buy their presents, thereby learning a valuable moral lesson while acquiring a gift guaranteed forever unbreakable. And I shall become rich in the process. Am I not thoughtful? Thoughtful? You're terrible! That's what! Just terrible! Make children pay for these... these awful... <laughs> loop sticky blech things? Why, it's Raggedy Arthur. <laughs> what a splendid toy for someone. Noble creature. Arthur, Arthur! Well, what happened? You will note that Arthur can breathe nicely. But, but he stuck it in there forever! You better get him out of there if you know what's good for you. Better yet, why don't you join him? What a charming gift for some lucky child. Gloopsticized Raggedy Andy. You let go of him, you, you, you horrible, awful thing, you. How could I resist such a charming entreaty? Oh, Andy. And now, my dear, your turn. Come, come, some little girl somewhere is eating her heart out for a gloopsticized raggedy and doll. <coughs> now, my dear, we don't want to disappoint that poor child at Christmas time, do we? Oh, come now, let's be grown up about this thing. Being very selfish, you know. Raggedy Ann, I'm becoming very impatient with you. Yes. <laughs> 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 
It's, it's the first big bad Christmas tree I've ever seen. Oh, stop. Oh, Harry. Oh, please, stop. I've never had any practice being a Christmas tree. I don't know how to be a Christmas tree. And now I'll, I'll be a Christmas tree. Forever! Poopsticks unbreakable! Unbreakable? Andy, gloopsticks unbreakable! Arthur! Arthur! Oh, Arthur! We love you anyway! We do! We do! It won't make any difference! You're the best dog in the whole world! We, we really, really love, love you, you Arthur! Arthur. You're cured. Andy, that's what did it. It did it. Gloopstick can't stand up against it. It did it? What it did it? It. Love. It's love that broke the gloopstick. <laughs> but, but, but what about me? Nobody loves me. I'll never get out. I got to be a Christmas tree all my life. I'm a, I'm a big bad wolf by trade. I, I don't know anything else. Well, you're a big wolf, all right. But you don't have to be a big bad wolf, you know. You can be a big good wolf. <laughs> but I don't know how to be a big good wolf. I hate being bad, but it's the only way I know of to, to make a living. Look, Andy, I think he really needs it. Maybe he hasn't had much opportunity to be good. Well, maybe. The wolves don't very often change their spots, do they? But I have changed my spots. But how can you be good when you're stuck in gloop stick? Andy, I've got an idea. Do you remember what Peter Pan did when Tinkerbell was so sick? Yeah, I remember. He asked all the people out there to help Tinkerbell get well. Right. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, everybody out there, on your toes. We really need your help. Everybody out there watching, do you want all your presents sealed in gloop stick? Of course you don't. So, all together now. One, two, three. No! 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 Great. Do you really love Christmas the way it always has been? All together again. One, two, three. Yes! 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 Fantastic! You did it! You people out there, you did it! You busted the group stick! Oh, thank you, thank you, everyone out there. It doesn't matter about me now. Just as long as all the presents are, are out of that awful gloop stick. Now look, everybody. This is the tough one. Do you really believe that a big bad wolf can be a big good wolf? Yes! 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 Thank you, thank you. This is the first time I've ever been liked, much less loved. What's that? It's Santa's alarm clock. We've got to get away from here. He mustn't know that anything's happened. Oh, what about that thing? That's a pretty big anything. Oh, that is simplicity itself. Just touch the self-destruct. <laughs> Thank you, 
Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Oh, pardon me. I mean, Mr. Big Good Wolf. Hey, everybody. Look. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet. Comet, Comet. Oh, there you are. On Comet, on Cupid, on Thunder and Vixen. And now, thank goodness, everything is straightened out. Oh, thank goodness indeed. And you know what? I think I'm going to like goodness better than I liked badness. But you know, I don't think anybody can say that for sure, unless he's tried both. Anyway, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone! everyone.